Let me show you how to add and make your very own emotes for your kick streams. First thing we wanna do is go over to our kick page and then from the top right corner, we're gonna go and click on our icon and then creator dashboard. From here, we can look on the left-hand side, go to the community tab and then click on emotes. The cool thing about kick is that you have so many different emote slots compared to Twitch. Look, look at how many there are. This is actually insane. And another benefit is that you actually don't need to be a kick affiliate in order to use the channel emote. You only need to be a kick affiliate if you plan on using the subscriber only emotes. So I'll be showing you two different methods on how to get some emotes on your kick channel. The first method is getting your hands on some emotes and the second method is gonna be making your emotes just like these little selfie ones I got here. So we'll start with the very first method. And you got a couple of different options. Option one is having an emote artist make an emote for you, like these lovely ghosts that I have here. So shout out to Queen if you're watching this. But if you don't know an emote artist, don't worry at all because you can use something like today's sponsor, own.tv. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can follow along at home. They basically make a a bunch of stuff for your stream, including emotes. So if you go to the top, you can see they have a bunch of different options for your emotes. You can go to their emote maker and make your own custom avatar like some of these people did here. And then once you go and make your own, they'll give you several different variations of the emote. And then once you have your own emote, you can go to their animated emote maker where you can upload that said avatar and you can go and pick through different animated options, which is also kind of cool. But if you're like, Cody, I'm too lazy for this or I ain't got the time for this, then you can go to their emotes tab and click on any of these other ones here and you can simply just scroll Scroll down and see what pre-made ones they have. They got some ones with the Reaper, which are kind of cool that are animated. Or if you just want some static emotes, you can find a cute one like this blue little whale. And you get an eight pack of emotes, which will just directly upload to Kick. So if you want to use Owned, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can easily follow along at home. But let's say you want to make your own emotes just like these selfie emotes right here. So the way that I did it is actually quite simple. And it uses a bunch of free tools, so you don't got to worry about that. So the first thing that I did is just take a picture of yourself. So in this case, I'm using a webcam. You can use your phone. It doesn't really matter. But I'm to go into the bottom left of Windows and type in camera so I can take a picture of myself. It's going to default to whatever webcam you have available, which I don't like this ugly one. So I'm going to switch it in the top right corner to my good webcam. Now I'm going to position it in a better spot. And now I'm going to change this little photo timer to about two seconds. And now we got to think of some different faces to make. I like to stare into the camera with a blank face when I'm angry on stream. So that's the emote I'll be making now. So once you got your face ready, you're going to click this little camera button. And I'm going to take the photo and make the face. So then you can check your photo in the bottom right corner. <laughs> it's a, such a lovely face. And I'm gonna right click and open folder. And you can see that we got our photo right here. Now I'm gonna use this free tool by Adobe, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. And we're just gonna upload our image. So we're gonna click on browser device, find our image, and then we can click upload. So it's gonna automatically remove the background as well as it can. I'm now realizing that I forgot to take the microphone out of the shot and I can't believe I did that. But lucky for us, we're only gonna be using our face so I don't actually have to reshoot this. So that's great. <laughs> so we're just gonna simply hit the download button it's gonna do its magic. It's got all this complicated stuff on the screen, but you can see that it downloaded in the bottom left and that's the file that we need. So don't worry about this stuff. Now we're gonna use my favorite online photo editor because it's the easiest for me to use, which I'll also leave linked in the description. It's just called Pixlr. We're gonna be using Pixlr E, it's completely free. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on create new and then we're gonna change the width to 500 and the height by 500. And then we're gonna click create. Now we can go to the layer at the top, click add images layer, and then we're gonna upload the picture we just got. Now we can use this little pointer tool to move it around. We can also zoom out with the mouse wheel. And honestly, you can just drag it like right around there. And I think that's, I honestly think that's pretty good. And then if you want, you can use the arrow keys to just fine tune it. And honestly, I like this, but we can do a couple different versions just for preference. So with Pixel, you can actually save three times a day, or if you keep using different incognito tabs, you can have unlimited, but don't tell anybody. So when you're ready to save it, we can click file and then save. And then we want PNG and transparent. So then we'll click save as, and we'll just call this CPAUSE M stare, and then click save. You can see we use two out of our three daily saves. So I'm gonna do one more. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit zoomed out, grab the corner, and then maybe put it like here. And then I'll just upload both so they have the option. We'll click file, save, transparent, PNG, save as. We'll click on this one, and then we'll call it stare two. By the way, we made this 500 by 500, so it'll be a square image, and you can see what the emote's actually gonna look like, just in case you guys were curious. Real quick, before we continue, if you guys want more kick videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so you get more of them recommended to you. Very important. Importantly, if this is your first time uploading channel emotes, I'd recommend putting in your prefix now because once you put in a prefix, you can't go back to having no prefix. And a prefix is basically just what's going to show up before your emote. So that way, if you just type in the word cat, it's not gonna trigger a random emote. So by using a prefix like CPAUSEM, they have to know that they want to use that emote instead of accidentally. So for example, for the stairs, we're gonna type in CPAUSEM for the prefix, click update or whatever prefix you want. Now we can go to the channel emotes. We're gonna upload 
load the new stair that we just made, which is right here. So we'll click open. Then all we have to do is put whatever we want after our prefix. So in this case, it's just going to be stair with a capital S. Capitalization is important. Then we'll click add. So now if we hover over it, it just says stair. But if we actually go to our chat, we can go to the stream tab. Then we're going to type in C pause M and then capital S stair. And then now it turns into the emote, which we can send. I know it can be a little confusing, so I just wanted to clarify that for you. So then you can use this method to rinse and repeat to get as many emotes as you want. Watch these other kick videos to the side of me. They're going to help your stream so much. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.